Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all keeping well. My name's Liz and this is Talking History. So last week, I, sorry, I had to swallow it. <laughs> so last week, I done the story of King David I of Scotland. And if you haven't seen that yet, I will leave that linked up there somewhere for you to find. And what I will do at some point, I will create a playlist with all the Scottish kings so you can find it much easier. So this week, going back into the anarchy, I'm going to do the story of the first battle of Lincoln. There has been two battles. Obviously, today's going to be the first one. So if that is something you are interested in, please do stay tuned. <laughs> first battle of Lincoln occurred during the anarchy which was the conflict between cousins Empress Matilda and King Stephen of, Lo of England. I was going to say London then. <laughs> In early January 1141 King Stephen had been informed that the disgruntled Ranulf Earl of Chester had captured Lincoln Castle. Now Lincoln Castle had been held by his mother Lucy of Bolingbroke who was Countess of Chester. Now when Lucy died around 1138 she had left her Lincolnshire estates to Ranulf's half-brother William de Romer. Now it was reported that Ranulf and his brother had contrived to gain the possession of Lincoln Castle by subterfuge in a late 1140. The story goes, the brothers waited for the castle's garrison to go hunting. They then sent their wives in to visit the castellan's wife and Ranulf appeared at the gate supposedly to collect his wife and sister-in-law. Now Ranulf, he wore no armour and he only had three attendants, so he was allowed inside. Now once he was inside, he and his men overpowered the small number of guards left behind and they opened the castle gate to his brother. The half-brothers quickly took control of the castle and with it the city of Lincoln. Now Lincoln's citizens, they appealed to King Stephen and Stephen arrived outside the castle walls by the 6th of January 1141 where he began his siege. Earl Ranulf had managed to escape the castle and he quickly returned to his lands in Chester to raise more forces. Now, Ranulf, he quickly took the opportunity to appeal to his father-in-law for his help. Now, Ranulf's father-in-law was none other than Robert, 1st Earl of Gloucester, illegit illegitimate son to King Henry I and half-brother to Empress Matilda. Now, Robert, he was a very capable soldier and he had commanded Empress Matilda's military forces. Now, Robert's daughter, Maud of Gloucester, was Ranulf's wife and she was trapped inside Lincoln Castle. Robert didn't need any more motivation to rescue his daughter, but Ranulf had promised to switch his allegiance to Empress Matilda. So Robert marched to Lincoln, meeting his son-in-law on the way. Now Robert's forces arrived on the outskirts of Lincoln on the 1st of February. Their rapid approach had caught King Stephen unawares. So Stephen was now outnumbered and he was advised to withdraw until he could raise enough troops to match those of Earl Robert's. Now, Stephen, he refused to withdraw and he was going to stay and fight. So the following morning on the 2nd of February, before the battle, King Stephen attended mass at Lincoln Castle. 
after mass king stephen led his forces through lincoln's west gate where he deployed his forces on either side of the slope leading down to the bottom of that slope now stephen formed his army into three divisions with mounted troops on each flank with the infantry in the center and these included the citizens of Lincoln and Stephen's own men at arms. The opposing side had also deployed their army into three divisions. The disinherited, those who were deprived of their lands by King Stephen were on the left. The infantry had comprised of Earl Ranulph's Cheshire tenants the centre was the dismounted knights with Earl Ranulph and the cavalry was under the control of Earl Robert of Gloucester, forming the right flank. Now, Welsh mercenaries were on the wings of the army. Now, according to Henry of Huntingdon, author of the history of the English people, 1100 to 1154. The rebels were the first to advance with the disinherited moved in forward with swords drawn intent on close quarter combat. The left flank of the rebel army fell upon King Stephen's right flank in which some men were killed, some were taken prisoner and the remaining part fled along with their remaining men. Stephen's right wing disintegrated in panic. The left flank of the royal army initially had some success. They rode down the Welsh mercenaries and they were sent running. Earl Chester's followers attacked Stephen's left flank and soon enough, that too was defeated. Stephen's infantry, which included the Lincolnshire levies and the king's own men at arms, were now left isolated and surrounded, but they continued to fight. King Stephen himself was prominent in the vicious hand to hand fighting. The rebel cavalry charged onto Stephen's forces. Many were killed, some were trampled, and others were captured. King Stephen was deep in the midst of the fighting. It was recorded that Stephen's sword had broke and he was quickly passed a battle axe by one of the fighting Lincoln citizens in order to continue fighting. Now, the king's weapon was useless and the king fell to the ground by a blow from a stone and Stephen was stunned and a soldier named William had rushed at the king, seizing him by his helmet, shouting, here, here, I have taken the king. The king's forces were now completely surrounded. All of them were either killed or taken prisoner. In the immediate aftermath of the fight in Lincoln, was um, it, Lincoln was sacked. Buildings were set alight, valuables were pillaged and the citizens were slaughtered by the victorious rebels. The defeated King Stephen had ta was taken to Empress Matilda and then on to imprisonment at Bristol Castle and a victorious Matilda was recognised as sovereign by the English people. However, fate had other ideas. Earl Robert of Gloucester was captured by Stephen's wife, Queen Matilda of Boulogne and he what Robert was later exchanged for King Stephen's freedom and this was agreed by Empress Matilda and there you have it there's the Battle of Lincoln another short quick little video for you today I hope you enjoyed it I hope I made 
sense of that and just keep doing what you're doing just keep watching keep enjoying and keep if you have any um recommendations for future videos what you'd like me to put in then let please let me know but just keep being amazing keep being you and keep doing all the good stuff keep subscribing liking sharing because you're all bloody brilliant and you deserve all the good stuff <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching look after yourselves i'll see you soon for the next one